Hey crafty friends, it's Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly and today I am working on a graduation gift. And so what I am going to make or attempt to make is a um, graduation cap box with a mini album inside. So, um, I've pre-cut some of my pieces, and so I want to go through the process of making the different parts. And um, the first thing I am going to make are the pages, because I think I have it pretty much worked out to exactly what I need. And I'm going to be using the Hidden Hinge Binding System by Kathy Orta, and um, I'll put a link to that tutorial below. But the difference that I did was um, I used half-inch gussets and half-inch um, hinges. So um, you could pretty much work that out. Basically, you take her hidden hinge system and you score it every half-inch for the length of your um, hinge piece. So I've already done that, and that's, I'm not going to show you that part. Um, you can watch Kathy Orta's video for that one. But um, I am going to show you how I make the pages. So I'm going to move all of this out of the way so that you can see. Um, and I am using black cardstock. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, it appears that my uh, light fixture in my room is dying a slow painful death so I am going with one bulb in that light fixture until Saturday so I apologize but I do have another light um, that is attached to my desk you can probably see the corner of it there um, I'm going to attempt to use it for now to give us some light so um, what you will need is for the pages is um, six 12 by 12 sheets of black cardstock. And this is just the um, Black Cat Coordinations um, value pack cardstock. It makes really nice um, pages. So um, this is just a design that I came up with. Um, I, I watched a lot of YouTube videos um, uh, Scrapbook Maven has a lot of really nice um, videos, tutorials on interactive pages, but because this is for a guy, um, I don't want to make it too fancy. So um, this is going to be the pocket and it will have a flap in the front, a pocket here. Um, let me move this so you can see. Black on black is hard to see. Um, so it will have this little tab here. Um, this will be the pocket and it will attach to the hinges here. And if you turn the page, then it will open here. So this is the page I'm going to make. Um, and I'm going to have six of these. So these I've already put together, um, but I wanted to save one so I can show you how to do it. So with your 12 by 12, and I'm using my Martha Stewart um, scoreboard, and if I can find my bone folder, I am going to score this at 6 and at 6 because I want a 6 inch page because the book is going to be a 6.5 by 6.5. So I just scored it. Um, at six inches, turned it 90 degrees and scored it at six inches again. Um, so that's that part. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to create a file folder type of pocket. And with these, I, I punched every other page at a different place so um, when they're in the book they'll be um, kind of staggered so the first one here looks like that and the page behind it will look like that so they're offset just a little bit um, 
So one of the pages is punched at three inches and four inches, and the other page is punched at um, two inches and three inches on the envelope punch board. So I need to double check which one I need to punch. It's the three, two, three, two, three. This one will be at two inches and at three inches. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to line up the upper left quadrant of my page at the, no, this is going to be at the three and the four, I'm sorry. Um, at three inch, I just put the corner of the page at the three inch mark and punch, and then I move it over and line up the corner of the page at the four inch mark and punch, just like that. And so you'll end up with that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to just flip the page over so that now my punched part is on my right hand side. And then I'm going to bring the bottom to the top and burnish like that. All right, now we're only going to be working on the left side of the page from this point forward. Um, and I'm going to use my Fiskars rotary cutter and I am going to trim um, just a, a sixteenth of an inch from this side because whenever we cut the bottom part, the seam, sorry, the, the um, score, we're going to cut this so that we have two flaps. Um, but that puts the flap closest to the hinge, so we need to trim it just a, a teeny tiny bit. And a sixteenth of an inch seems to work pretty well. And how I do that, it's not really a true sixteenth of an inch, but on my um, cutting rotary cutter, sorry, there is a groove here and then there's the actual cutting line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the paper up with this groove. Um, so I stick my paper in this way and just line it up with that groove as straight as possible. And then I'm going to cut it. So it's pretty close to a sixteenth of an inch. <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut that seam or that score right there. Again, just a sixteenth of an inch. Um, and I just line it up with that groove. And I do it this way so that I can have something to hold on to. When you're cutting something very skinny like this, it's very difficult. And then I just go from the center score mark or close to it up the page, just like that. And it gets pretty close. Okay. And then all you're left with is this little piece right here that is connected by the score line. And I just take my scissors, and yes, I have magnets on my scissors. Um, I'm just gonna snip that. I probably could have done that a little cleaner, but there we go. So now what you have is a flap in the front and a flap in the back, like that. Now again, I've watched a lot of videos. I don't know if somebody else has come up with this, but this is my, I didn't see this on any of the videos that I watched. Um, so once you have it folded, you can give it a good crease with your bone folder. Okay, so again, you have a flap. And if you turn the page, you have another flap. Okay. Now what I need to do is cut off 
this little tab thing. And with my cutter, I just line it up, line the um, the base or the the lowest point of these little valleys on the cutting line, and then I just cut that little piece off. So now you have the little file folder tab. Okay. Like that. And now I'm going to glue down. So this is our 12 by 12, right? We notched it here with the We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board. We scored it at six and at six. We cut off a sixteenth of an inch from the edge that does not have the little groove in it. And then we also cut off what ends up being a quarter of an inch out of the center so that we have these little flaps that close, right? So now we need to glue our pocket down. So how I like to do this, I like to use glue because if you use the sticky tape, then your tags and things get stuck in the tape. So I'm just using my Scotch Quick Dry and a tiny little bead. Right down that edge. And then I just burnish it until it gets a good adhesion. I apologize, there seems to be cat hair on my mat. Okay, and you can just kind of use this uh, baby wipe or whatever and wipe up any excess glue. But there shouldn't be much if you use just a tiny little bead. Okay, so that gives us, here's the side where we're going to attach it to the um, hinge. Creates our pocket, our little flap, turn the page, and we have a flap. Okay, so that's the base these are the base pages. And again, each one is offset. So this one, this little cutout notch is further to the left. On the next page, it's closer to the right. So it's right here. Okay. So again, those are the pages.